everyone, my name is Diane and this is my pink bathtub. Welcome back friends. This is going to be aired sometime in September, but technically it is only a few days before my birthday. And I wanted to share some stuff. There's a lot of little stuff that I keep forgetting to mention. So there's going to be a bit of a mishmash at the beginning of this episode. And I'm going to share some of my birthday presents that I bought for myself a new Canadian company that I did not know about that you can purchase yarn from. Maybe some of you do, but new to me. And let's just get started. So the first thing I want to say is I want to do a shout out to one of my viewers, Teresa Harp. She was the first winner of anything I ever gave away, which was my kitty cat pattern, my kitty cat knit pattern. And when I sent it to her through email, I said, gosh, I'd really love to see if you make one, what it looks like. Well, she sent me a photo. So I'm, she said I could share it with you. So here it is. Isn't it cute? You did a great job, Teresa. And she said she wanted to do the Mama G colors, which she has done, like the Rainbow Kitty. So I think you did a great job. Thank you so much for sharing that with me and to allow me to share it with all of you. Pickle jar. I, my birthday is technically in a couple days. So we, again, are filming ahead. I got the pickle jar and okay, I, I dumped it all out. I looked at all of the colors closely, but I put it back in the jar, but it is just absolutely Get gorgeous. Striped Cal recipe. Now this, you can use half of the jar which is 20 wee skeins to make a shorter cowl or if you use the full pint you will get a longer cowl and the beauty of this pattern is you're going to knit it in the round with the needles that are provided and you don't have to weave in any of the ends because you're just going to close the um it's like a tube then you're going to close it at the end and they're all going to be on the inside so i like that idea the other one is a bias scarf which is also very pretty. So I've been doing a couple of custom orders as well. And the money that I made from these orders, I used to go to the Manitoba Fiber Festival. Now that's gonna be linked the uh, video prior to that. And a couple of my friends gave me a good tip. They said, bring cash, stick to your budget. Cause I mean, I'm still very overwhelmed by hand dyed, but um, yeah, so bring cash, stick to a budget. I've been looking at some of the, um, there's a huge array of vendors there. I think there's 30 vendors, hand dyed vendors. Most of them are local. And uh, I, yeah. So one of the custom orders that I did was for a quite well-known, I'm gonna call her a local celebrity in Manitoba, especially in Winnipeg. Her name is Cal Barteski and she is an artist and she is an activist and she's incredibly well known locally and she has a love for polar bears. I'm going to show you some of her work as I talk about her. Now she is a very dear friend to my sister-in-law and my sister-in-law approached me and asked me if I could make her a pair of polar bear mittens. I was a little nervous about this, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Cal's a bit of a big deal in these parts. And uh, whenever I do something new, I am always a little nervous of how the public will react to things. You know, when you work on something for a while and you kind of lose perspective of, is this good, is this not good? But I think I did a pretty good job. And so she's well known for her polar bear paintings as well as her script art. I have, um, a piece of her original work in my yarn room and she uh, lives in an area of the city where she did a, a back alley permanent art installation on people's garage doors and it is called back alley arctic so here are some photos of this and here is the photo of the polar bear mittens that I created for my sister-in-law to give to her. And here is Cal thrilled to have her mittens. So I am quite happy that that worked out. 
Dawn from Yarn is a Sport sent me something. She reached out to me and uh, I did have a couple other viewers asked for my address and I currently do not have a PO box. So I apologize for that. I don't expect people to send me anything, but Dawn and I have been quite friendly and uh, getting to know each other through Instagram and on YouTube and we are supporting each other and um, she asked for my address and I'm like, I don't want you to send me anything. It's too expensive. She goes, no, I'm just sending you something in an envelope. Well, she didn't send it in an envelope, but uh, she not only sent one, she sent two and one of them is for one of you. So we're going to do a draw uh, giveaway right now in the middle of this episode. Well, I'm going to link her below. Uh, she calls her husband the yarn caddy. He loves to golf. She loves to knit crochet, Tunisian crochet. She does it all. Still don't really know what Tunisian crochet is. I think it's, uh, it looks like a long knitting needle with a crochet hook. So that looks really interesting because the stitches are on the needle. Hmm. Diane, the yarn caddy had some merchandise made for me. I am sending one for your personal use and one you can use for a giveaway, which is super sweet of her. Her own personal merchandise. And because I have two, one of them is for one of you. I just love this. So a little bit of a backstory. I'm really into chickens and um, if anyone knows what yarn chicken is, you know, it's when you're working on a project and you kind of, oh, I don't know if I have enough yarn and you're kind of like racing against time and the ball is getting smaller and your anxiety is getting higher and will you win at yarn chicken? Will you have enough to complete your project? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So here is what she sent me. Yarn is a sport. I am a professional yarn chicken athlete. Now this is a beautiful, huge nylon bag. It's got the drawstring at the top and it looks like you can actually use it as kind of a backpack type of satchel. And it's kind of made out of this nylon material. Isn't that gorgeous? Yarn is a sport. I love the name of her channel. So I would love it if you would go over and check her out. This is what you're going to need to do for a chance to win a bag. You need to be a public subscriber to my channel. I need to see that you're a subscriber. I want you to like this video. I need you to comment on this video. If you do not comment, I will not know that you want an opportunity to win this. And I want you to t say something. I don't want you to say that it's a giveaway. I want you to say something about your experience with yarn chicken. So did you win? Did you never win? Have you never had to experience yarn chicken? So thank you so much, Dawn, for this lovely gift and this lovely chance for people to win your gift. Go over and check her out. She's a real sweetheart and she is a fountain of knowledge for a lot of various fiber arts. What am I opening today? Um, I have been discovering a lot of different places you can buy yarn, um, but this place that I discovered, and I discovered it from another YouTuber, I have never heard of. And they are in Canada. Has anyone ever heard of Cambridge Fiber Limited? They are in Ontario. I am literally one province away. I am the neighbor, and I've never heard of them. I first heard of them through Russell at it's raining yarn. Now he is another, he is a sweetheart and he loves yarn. He's a knitter and a crocheter. He loves Tangled Poet minis. Like, who are they? I immediately went to my computer to look them up and just search for them. They have no website. How do you know about this? So they, so I was, Here's what they are. They are available on Facebook and on Instagram. I'm going to link their information below. They are a local yarn outlet store. So what that means is um, they have yarn, sometimes without labels on them, um, but you can get some really good deals. And he had also gotten an advent calendar from them I just loved it. Like, yes, it had acrylic yarn. Yes, there was stuff without labels. Every single 
package he had was individually wrapped in Christmas wrap. Like every single one had different Christmas wrap. It was like opening a, like literally opening a present every day. And they were numbered from one to 24. You would get enough for a project to make a sweater and you would get enough to make a blanket. And then lots of cute little notions sometimes, or you get another Christmas craft. Like I just thought it was awesome. And I am not a yarn snob. I will use acrylic just as much as I will start using this hand dyed stuff that I've gotten into lately. So I thought it was amazing. So of course I couldn't find a website. I did message him and I said, look, I found them on Instagram. Like, how do you get a hold of them? Like I just sent them a message. And he says, that's what I did. I just sent them a message through Instagram. They also have birthday boxes. Uh, so I went through and I looked at their posts on Instagram. I sent a message. Uh, the person who was replying to me was just lovely and just as excited about the yarn as I was. Now again, you know me a little bit with mysteries and surprises. It's not always my jam, but they were open to app people asking their likes and dislikes. When you order post, it was $125. Well, I didn't want to spend that much just because I've been indulging a lot. I was a little nervous about knowing like what is the content because I make a lot of things for other people and I need to provide that information to my customers. So I emailed her and asked her, do you have any sock yarn? Because again, I am collecting sock yarn because I want to make animals and I need a variety of colors to make that happen. And she sent me a picture of a bin with a whole bunch of sock yarn <laughs> and I was like, uh, so, like a birthday box, the shipping and the tax is included. And you can give her your likes and dislikes, like with colors and things like that, and she will curate you a box. So I did that. I did that for my birthday. I wanted to try them out. And I said, look, I have a $50 limit, all in, shipping and tax. I just want sock so, yarn. It came. Okay, you guys, I opened the box just to not have that crinkly sound. Got to look at this. So here's the box. I'm not going to show you the side. It's like a big wide pizza box. And I opened it. Ooh, stuff's falling out. Everything is individually wrapped in happy birthday wrapping paper. Oh, I just feel like the luckiest girl in the world sometimes. So this is kind of a mystery. Oh, and I did ask her now for the Christmas advent, if there is no ball band on it, and he did get some things like Red Heart Super Saber yarn, which I'm, I'm fine with. Um, if there's no ball band on it, is it safe to assume that it is 100% acrylic? And she said she always marks anything that has wool in it so that you know what is in it. So. I've also heard from other YouTubers, if you get something from her and you're not sure what it is, just send her a picture through Instagram or Facebook in the Messenger uh, and ask her and she, she knows, she knows exactly the brands. She's very friendly and incredibly helpful. I, I'm just, I'm gonna have to email her right after this because I am, oh, okay. A lady never discusses the size of her yarn stash. I got a couple of buttons. In case no one told you today, you are gorgeous and deserve an unlimited amount of yarn. Yes, I do. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Every single thing. Now, I didn't care about the colors I got for this sock yarn. Oh, so this is Elise. Now, this is 75% wool, 25% polyamide. So this is a beautiful pink. And this is perfect to make the um, things, on, the animals and things I'm gonna do. So this is a smaller ball. So this would also probably make a shorty pair of socks. I'm just like the luckiest girl in the world. Oh, I got another of these. And I did tell her I wanted to, oh, this is lovely. Here's another one. And again, 75% superwash wool, 25% polyamide. That's lovely. 
I guess these might be the original ball bands on these ones. I'm not sure. It's, it feels just like Croy's patents, so that's good. She does have other patents like the classic wool, and I was like, I want that in my Christmas advent. So I feel like my Christmas advent is going to be a nice mix because, mm -mm, because um, I'm going to be getting the Tangle Poets hand-dyed yarn, but then I'm going to get a factory outlet yarn option too. So again, Cambridge Fibers Limited. They are actually in the same parking lot in the same strip mall right beside Lens Mill. So I think I got to move to Cambridge, Ontario. These are great. I don't have any of these colors. Here's another of these. This is a nice purple. Same content. So I've got three so far and they're all beautiful colors, especially for what I'm going to do with them. Look at this. I just so well done. I don't know if she did a, like, a little pink theme because of my pink bathtub. I'm not sure because I was messaging her through my Instagram. Oh, this one's a Croy. And again, I apologize for the crinkling, but... <gasps> this is called English Color Name. Oh, this is a Croy's Socks FX. Now, I don't know if all of the stuff she gets is discontinued or if it's just... Like I said, mill ends or things without labels, or I don't know where she gets her yarn from. Um, it smells good. It smells clean. It smells like it came from a regular store. So that's four. $50 shipped to your home, wrapped. Like, come on. This YouTube is getting me in trouble. I am discovering so many new things. Hubs keep saying things like, you're giving everybody away all your honey, honey holes of where you're getting this great yarn. And I'm like, I want to share it. I want to share the info. Like, look at this color. That's gorgeous. That is Elise again. I'll have to look up this Elise. Like, it feels and looks just like um, patents. And you know, I could, I think she probably tell I was like a little nervous that there wasn't labels. So these might be some labels that she, ooh, that she has made for me. Now this doesn't have a label, but I pretty, I'm pretty sure this is a Patton's, um, Croy. It's a little puffed up. It's the same size ball. That's great. I am absolutely loving all of these colors. Like I am set now. I just got to get through those markets and... I really do knit. I know you don't see it a lot. And I'm going to be doing a lot more of it. I'm like, I, I did ask for some neutrals too, and this is perfect. It's all super wash wool. This one is called Seashell Colors. This is a brown. This is gonna be perfect for for little animals. Like I, oh my. She even, like she says, she always tries to put a little bit extra in there. And another perfect one for animals, a gray. So this one is called, in case anybody wants to order any of these, and this one's called Limestone. This one is called Java. And the last one, I am like, look at this, look at this wrapping. I just cannot believe this. How do we, how, I mean, I think it's more cost effective for them to not have a website, but if they had a website, they would be, this is, I said, I really want a blue one so I can make overalls, <laughs> like the little uh, dungaree overalls on this guy, so. Amazing. Cambridge Fiber Limited. I have put in my order for the advent, so it's exciting to have the two options. That's it. That's enough. Okay, I am gonna see you tomorrow or the next day when my next package arrives. Talk amongst yourselves.